We'll go ahead and get started. First question, Jonathan Fagan. Hello, Vic. Um, what was it like for you to have had to go out at a time the team is struggling, you're working to get a rhythm, and then to have to be patient again? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, but, um, you know, it's a part of the process. So just got to trust it. Um, and that's what I'm doing. How are you now? Physically. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm feeling better, um, taking it one day at a time, uh, starting to do more on the court. So I'm um, just seeing how my foot responds um, and hopefully it continues to keep healing. Thank you. Christo Saltis. Hello, Victor. Uh, what was the toughest part of uh, your rehabilitation so far and how, and how many days you, you expect you'll be, you be in 100% again? Um, I mean, the toughest part is just, you know, realizing I just got to control what I can control, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and just continue to keep getting better. Um, and, you know, just focusing on that. Um, um hopefully I'm better soon. Um, and hopefully I can play the next game, uh, but we'll see. Mark Berman. Well, I was, what I was going to kind of ask you. Uh, Vic, when do you, when do you, do, what's your, your timeline of thinking you can get back? Um, I mean, you know, definitely going to try to see if I can play Monday, um, but we'll see. Um, I think it just depends on, you know, how my foot feels, obviously. Um, and, you know, we'll see. Hopefully I can get out there and, and compete. Um, so just going to have to wait. It's a waiting game. Um, See how my foot feels the next 48 hours. See how it responds the next 48 hours. Um, and, you know, how, hopefully I how, can get here and play. How tough is it to be patient and not try to get back too quickly, even though you want to be back? I mean, I, I, yeah, it's tough. But, you know, you got to be smart, especially dealing with, you know, my knee already. Um, and it's my right foot. You know, you don't want to overcompensate and do something dumb. So just got to be smart. Brian Bearfield. Uh, Victor, someone who is a huge part of helping out a community like yourself, how good was it to see your teammate, John Wall, go out and help some of the people who are affected by this winter storm? Um, it was great to see that, you know. Um, definitely it's been kind of crazy here in Houston. Um, been actually doing some stuff about myself to help some people as well. Um, but... You know, it's just tough in general. You know, you, you go through tough things in life and and then you kind of see what, what tougher really looks like. You know, there's people out here who are sleeping in their cars, people without water, people without food, people without anything to keep them warm, freezing to death. I like guess it's, it's, it's unfortunate, it's sad. Uh, man, we just got to do what we can. It's unfortunate we can't you know, save everyone. That's the, that's probably the worst part about it, but we can help and we can do our part and uh, we have to. So, like I said, it's tough. Um, and, and it's all of Texas, you know what I'm saying? It's all the South that's going through this. So uh, we got to do our part. We got to do what we can to help. Adam Spolin. Vic, um, it, it looked like in that Miami game, you came down awkwardly a couple of times. Uh, what exactly happened, and were you concerned that it might be worse? No, nah, I wasn't concerned it might be worse because I came back and ran. Um, even though it wasn't really comfortable running, I was able to run. You know what I'm saying? So I knew it was. I know what it what it feels like to when it's serious. You know, I'm really aware of that. Um, but you know, um, it was still you know uncomfortable, still a little painful. So I just decided to come out. Um, but if you watch the replay, he sat on my foot. I don't know how else to say it, but I tried to contest it and go a verticality, and he kind of landed on my foot butt first. If you watch the replay, so um, it was a lot of lot of pressure, a lot of lot of force on my foot. But you know, it's doing better. That's in the past. Um, it's no point of thinking of if it could have been worse because it wasn't. Thank God. So we just focus on the present and the future and, and moving forward. So uh, just focus on getting better and getting back out there and helping this team win. And last question, Jonathan Fagan. 
Coach Silas told us earlier that he has spoken with you about working to put you in positions where you can feel most comfortable and be most effective. What kind of changes or how, how would that be? What kind of positions would that be? The ball. That's right. I'm sorry? I feel comfortable with the ball. Wherever. Do you feel like you've not handled enough? Um, I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say that, but you just asked me where would I feel comfortable at. Mm -hmm. With the ball, wherever that is, wherever he thinks I can be successful with the ball. You know what I'm saying? You can't really, you know, flourish without the ball. So uh, whatever I can do to help, man, whatever coach thinks the best coach is smart, coach knows where to put guys to be successful. And um, at the end of the day, I think he'll do a great job of, of, you know, helping me feel more comfortable or whatever it is or whatever the question it is that you ask. But uh, with the ball, I mean, whatever I can do to help the team win, man, man I mean, you know, whatever I can do to do that, I mean, I'm sure he'll put me in position to do so. So um, just, I just want to play first and foremost, and then we can worry about that later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Victor. No problem.